Mr. Kalunis, obviously you come from uh, the US uh, where investments reach their peak. The point is, is there any way of actually getting funds for Greek companies in such a big humanitarian crisis and economic crisis as well we live in Greece for the last six years? Well, uh, for capital to come to Greece, there has to be a reason for it. Uh, it has to have the opportunity to succeed and make money. There have been funds coming here. There's a lot of people, some hedge fund uh, 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 players that have come in, unfortunately haven't done that well. And uh, in the conference today we spoke about what are some ideas of what could happen. And one of the things that we spoke about is the possibility of the federal government giving corporations um, the ability to invest in Greece by number one, maybe having a tech corridor, an incubator where we can design a small zone. We met with the mayor of Athens yesterday and he's, they're doing a triangle but they need more. They need the ability to attract some big businesses that will come here that have an advantage to invest in Greece. And what happens when you do something like that, you get some of the brightest and brightest minds is our, our children here in, the, in Greece that have phenomenal educations universities and most of them, 75% of them have to go outside the country. Keep them in here. Have the ability to get this incubator, whether it be a tech-based incubator or whatnot, to start getting money into Greece. And in order to have this happen, there has to be a reason why the corporations will move from one part of Greece, from one part of Europe, from the United States to come and invest and you know and have some kind of tax abatement or whatnot and even the developers need that in hand they can do other things like build rebuild some of the schools and what for the abatement that they're doing but without some catalyst it's very difficult to do that and I believe that they're not getting any money because it's so depressed right now from taxes so if they forfeit some of the opportunity or some of the upside, the good it will do by the stimulations of jobs growth, by the stimulating of the kids being able to uh, have hope, which is such a, uh, you know, the moral victory that would, that would give this country would be huge. And it's worked. It's worked in Israel. There's, uh, there's zones like this in, in Barcelona. It's a proven commodity and you see the money start to pour in. Are there any prerequisites for investments in Greece in terms of uh, U.S. Uh, investors or funds to come here and invest in Greek companies, whether this is startup companies or existing companies? Well, there's always prerequisites in due diligence process, but you know there's been people investing in Greece for several years, um, and you've seen uh, Wilbur Ross, you've seen John Paulson. One thing that we need to understand too is the judicial system in Greece is not very advantageous as well as the tax treatment given the current austerity measures. Those are very, very important and you can't keep changing the goalposts and expect to score and have wins. And that uncertainty does not give big investors and corporations and institutions the confidence to invest in Greece. And that needs to change. Stability needs to happen. The judicial system needs to change. The bankruptcy courts need to uh, change their laws. And when that happens, money will flood into this country. Finally, a comment on the capital in contribution to social responsibility on organizing events such as this, which help promote the Greek investment community as well. Campolink is a phenomenal forum. If you see here what Nick and Olga Bernoza have done in terms of bringing so many people together, it's fantastic. And the great minds and, uh, and, and, and having both the public and private sector come, and there's a lot of government officials in here, which is great, so we can speak you know, uh, face to face and we have no problem stating our, our, our feelings and our thoughts and our, and, and our advice, whether they're good, bad, or indifferent. And uh, they gave us the ability to create this forum for this to happen. And uh, we, we applaud it. And we're very fortunate that uh, we have uh, an organization like Capital Inc.